Happy New Year everyone, I'm Jesse Muller, Blue Screen Computer, and this is the video that goes with my January 2022 newsletter. Hey, uh, the last couple of months I'm getting increasing questions about Windows 11. Uh, specifically, people are asking me over and over again, Hey Jesse, my Windows 10 computer is offering to me the free upgrade to Windows 11. Should I do it? Um, in general, I tell people, no, you shouldn't. And that's not that I have a criticism against Windows 11. Windows 11 is great. It works well. The upgrade goes smoothly and does not break anything. Microsoft has done a pretty nice job this time around of not causing computer angst with their massive upgrades. But that's where I run out of nice things to say. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly impressed with Windows 11. I don't see anything amazing under the hood. Nothing that I have to tell you to rush out and get. So with no compelling reason, I would just say sit tight with Windows 10 if you're happy with it, if it's working well for you. Um, Windows 10 will still be viable through the year 2025. That means it'll receive support and all those updates and whatnot from Microsoft until 2025. So there's no reason to jump from one lily pad to the other unless you have a burning desire to experience something new with your Windows. But I wager that a lot of you like to follow the KISS principle, like your computers to stay the same, much like you get in your car every day, and you want your car to turn on and drive to work the same way. Um, a lot of people are mildly uncomfortable with the change between Windows 10 and 11. It's not bad, it's just like going on vacation and coming home to your lovely house and finding that all your furniture has been moved to slightly different rooms. Um, you can get used to it, but why if there's no compelling reason to? So again, if you've got a Windows 10 computer, it's pestering you to upgrade to Windows 11, you don't have to. And if it's pestering you too much, you can go to Start, Settings, Updates and Security, and hopefully find a little link there that says to decline the Windows 11 upgrade, and that may stop Microsoft from badgering you so much. Um, all right. Well, if there's any further questions about Windows 11, give me a holler. Leave me a comment below, shoot me an email, give me a call sometime. I'd be happy to talk more about this or any other particulars with you. All right, gang. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for enjoying my videos and all your commentary. And keep in touch and have a great new year.